how does Daniel 9 chronicle the passage of time leading up to Messiah's crucifixion? Okay, so how does Daniel chronicle time leading up to the Christ's crucifixion? Well, he states there that, going, that from the going forward of the commandment to rebuild Jerusalem unto the cutting off of the Messiah, the Prince, in Daniel chapter 9, there's going to be 69 weeks. Now, based on the definition of a week, with relative to the last week of Daniel, we know that in the midst of the week, that there's, there's 1,260 days, or there's a time, and a time, and a dividing of time, or there's 42 months. It's explained all three ways in your, in your scripture. So now we apply that same mindset with respect to the prior 69 weeks, which tells us that for each week, and this corresponds incidentally to uh, Genesis chapter 27 and, and, and uh, Genesis chapter 29 relative to, uh, to uh, the marriage of Jacob to his first and second wife. Uh, so there were 69 weeks. 69 times 7 is 483 years. Because Christ lived 33 and a half years, we have to deduct that from the overall time in terms of the birth of Christ, which is, brings us to 450, uh, 450, 450 years after the prophecy of Cyrus, as detailed in uh, the uh, in Second Chronicles chapter 36, as detailed uh, in Isaiah chapter 40, uh, 4 and 45. So those things combined now tells us that 450 years transpires from the charge of Cyrus through till the birth of Christ, and then 33 and a half years of Christ's life in the flesh brings us to a total of 483 years. That fulfills that prophecy of Daniel chapter 9 relative to Christ's being crucified on that 69th week. And then there's one week or seven year time period that's allotted still unto the nation and people of Israel. And in the midst of that week, we see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, or where he ought not. And then, of course, the persecution against the nation and people of Israel, and the endurance of the saints, either through martyrdom and or through enduring unto the end for a Gentile cleaving to the Jew in acknowledgement that God is reestablished them, reestablishing them as head, and then ultimately in preparation for the second advent of Christ and then of course the kingdom is to follow.